Yeah, we do have a lot of fall temperatures in the forecast, and you know what? We do have a couple of days where it's going to feel like winter out there in my seven day forecast, but we'll get to that in just a second. We do want to talk about today. Of course, we hit 60 degrees at Norfolk International today. Normal high is 65. However, we started off warmer than our average high earlier today. 51 where the average low or excuse me, started off higher than the average low where the average low is 48 degrees. Skyview right now we're looking over Hampton quiet start to the evening or excuse me quiet kind of middle of the evening. Remember that sun went down at five o'clock, so it has been dark for just about six hours almost out there and with clear skies overhead. We do have those frost and those freeze alerts in place for tonight. Freeze warning for the areas in the deep purple now including Isle of Wight and also Hertford County, which is different from what we had at our 6 p.m. newscast, but a frost advisory for some of our more inland zones and currently the coastal areas not under any frost or freeze alert, so we'll keep an eye on that. So here's high pressure that's keeping things cool, calm and quiet out there for today. However, as we move into the second day of the work week, we are going to be watching this area that's currently bringing some rain back toward the central part of the country that's going to sweep down. We are going to be watching for the chances for rain on Election Day, but looking at it right now, it's certainly quiet, not seeing any issues out there. No rain, very few clouds overhead, but again, remember it's dark. You can't see any clouds anyway. 47 right now in Norfolk. It's 41 in Newport News. It's 39 in Smithfield, 42 in Currituck, 36 right now in Wallops Island, also 36 in Wakefield and 42 for our friends in Moyoc. Tonight temperatures drop down into the lower 40s. We'll have those inland lows in the 30s already in the 30s for some zones. Bus stop forecast heading to school tomorrow. We're going to have sunshine out there. Temperatures in the middle 40s for parts of the area, lower 60s for high. So a similar day to what we had today. So Jacqueline, more fall like temperatures for tomorrow and more sunshine on the way tomorrow night. However, we do have more clouds pushing in mild temperatures dropping down into the 50s tomorrow night ahead of Election Day. Now your Election Day forecast not looking too bad. Temperatures actually going to be the warmest of the week. Upper 60s, some areas could get to 70 degrees, but I'm expecting rain. The winds not too bad. I do think those winds pick up, however, as we go into the later part of the week. But again, I'll show you that in just a second. Here's Tuesday early in the morning. We have a couple of showers back toward the south and west. Moving through the morning hours, here we are by 6 a.m. Some pockets of more moderate rain expected in parts of the region. Don't watch the exact location. However, we are going to be definitely keeping an eye on maybe some pockets of heavier rain. Moving through the middle of the day, things are starting to dry out and eventually clear out. So if I had to say right now, maybe try to get that voting in during the second half of the day rather than the early morning hours before work. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Everybody, as I mentioned, we could be talking about a day where we don't get out of the 40s for parts of the region. Friday and Saturday, I'm keeping an eye on you, especially Friday. Breezy, maybe with a chance for rain. Love it. All right. Thank you so much, Rochelle.